almost said happy Saturday, but it is Sunday, unfortunately. Welcome to Sunday. Welcome, welcome all. I got the bagels. I already hate. <laughs> I already ate half of mine, but I got one for Aaron too, so he's going to try it later as well. Um, I'm actually going to rinse up some broccoli so that I have some veggies prepped for me to eat so that I don't have any excuses about not eating veggies. And I also went to um, my favorite thrift store in the city and I got two items, so maybe I'll show you guys later what I got. It's not very exciting. It wasn't a very exciting day, unfortunately. It was, I had two spots on my map near the bagel place that I went to that I wanted to find cats at. There was a bodega cat named Thanksgiving that I wanted to find. She wasn't there. And then the first store that I go to that I love usually has an orange cat there. She wasn't there. I guess you never found them because you didn't post them on Insta. No, you I would, never. You would have posted never it. Never found my cats, and so I was very sad about that. Um, but, Aaron, what are you eating? Can Cherries I have I one? Have today. Look at this <clears throat> weird-ass chill. What is this? Like, mm. That's pretty good. How do you like to eat your bagels, Aaron? Uh, we'll see. Let me take a look at it first. Okay. <clears throat> Grab your plate. Meanwhile, I'm gonna bring some broccoli so I get some health in there. Um, Does broccoli just add health to you? Is that how it works? I mean, yes, but I also eat it with a shit ton of cheese. But I figured, you know, getting getting some greens and some fiber in me is good. Um. Yeah, guys, on the weekends, you know, when I feel like it, I go live earlier some days. Will you hold the plate in okay. front of the camera? So I got I got Aaron a everything egg bagel. Hold the plate still so I don't drop any of the top. One could even call it a eggry, wow. eggry thing bagel. So this, looks beautiful. this thing smells so potently everything. When I open my bag up in the thrift store to put my clothes in my bag, the, the wafting scent of everything seasoning just like flew out into my face and I felt kind of embarrassed because I wasn't sure what other people would think because everything bagels can smell a little bit pungenty. Um, but it smells absolutely delicious if you know what you're signing up for. It's beautiful, June. This is incredible. I don't even, I don't even know how I want to eat So, are, are we going to slice it open in half like a normal yeah. bagel, or are slice we going to tear in. into it to see the fibers? Let's slice it in half. Okay. Will you grab some butter if you want? Yes. Good idea. Are Good we going bagel. to toast it in the cast iron? Lightly toasted with butter. Yes, that's how I'll do. That's my usual bagel order. I go to a new bagel place, and I just want to see how good they are at making that bread. Uh, then I'll order uh, lightly toasted with butter. Jenny agrees, lightly toast is best. Okay, guys, here. I'm going to show you the cross section, y'all, right? So I love my bagels like this, where it almost looks so dense that it's like cakey. But may I touch your bagel? Uh, hold on, I have to ban meat all the time. Why? He said, uh, Montreal bagels no, are better. <laughs> we, never, we never had Montreal bagels. I want, can I you touch did. your bagel? You have had Montreal I, bagels. Black seed. No, black seed doesn't fucking count, okay? okay? We gotta go to Montreal for the Montreal yes, bagels. Yes, you can poke my bagel. Okay, I'm gonna tear this tuft because, holy crap, this smells amazing. Um, this is what I like to see in a bagel. You can tear the little doughy bits in, like, meaty, meaty tufts. Okay, that's what makes a proper bagel for me. Tear it off. It's like dense, chewy, but also feathery. It almost looks like the fiber construct, the gluten construction of like a brioche dough, but it's nice and dense and not airy. Thank you. Let's toast it. Yeah, did everyone check out Zach's pizza video? Holy shit, he filmed that thing like in 2019 and it never got pushed out. 
but it's finally out and I'm so happy and I hope you guys all watch it. His Why true, didn't it get pushed out, dude? His true, Just kidding. <laughs> his true personality doesn't really come out in that one video, but Zach is a delightful person and he also does comedy. Not anymore because COVID, but like he is still very much a comedian, so he is a lovely human being with a great sense of humor. A lot of rickets. A lot of rickets. What? You've been shot out. She's a massive fan from London. Okay. Hi. Hi, London. You've been shouted out. Um. It, the pizza video is on Delicious Channel. It's like probably our latest upload. I don't have a New York accent because I wasn't born here. And I'm also like not in my 50s. June say, hey, I'm walking here. Hey, I'm walking here. Very good. Sorry, Kirsten, I only say hi to people who spell my name right. Gotta make sure this doesn't burn. That would be a disaster. That would be a disaster. Can you turn the brightness up? What? Can you turn the brightness on my screen up, please? Oh, okay. And can you plus, can you command plus sign? Yeah. Thank Increase you. the size. Aaron's spicy every day. Yeah. People say that every stream. And if you say that every stream, uh, then that's I'm not particularly spicy. That's just how I am. So there's no caraway seeds on an everything bagel, but what this place does do, this is Bagel Pub in, we went to the Franklin Avenue location. This bagel has not only sesame seed, garlic, onion, poppy seed, as well as salt, it also has oats, which I've not seen on bagels everything before. Else? Yeah. Um, but their everything bagels have oats on it, which I'm a huge fan of. I've only seen oats really tossed onto like whole grain or multi-grain bagels, but I got a whole wheat everything bagel. They have also pumpernickel everything bagel there. And honestly, it's all really, really good. I didn't buy the pumpernickel, but man, I love also irregular bagels. You can see how like, one side of the bagel is way skinnier than the other side of the bagel. I love some kind of like rustic irregularities in my bagels like that. Cause look at that Glinden. Okay, I just want to get them slightly toasty enough so the butter will melt. So might be soon. But also, check out this gluten bowl right here. Wow. I love carbs. Oh my God. I love bagels, but hate, hate, hate the hole inside. What? Like what the does belly that mean? button? What does I that like mean you hate the hole. Can you stop talking? I don't get it. The belly button. Why? Why would you hate that? What does that mean? Well, this bagel, as you can see, actually doesn't have much of a hole. It just has a belly button, you know? So this is the kind of bagel that I like the most where you can't even, you can't even squish your finger through the hole. What a weird thing to There's hate. There's like no hole. What is it about the hole that bothers you? CC, what was your tarot, tarot reading? Hi, Trinidad. I can't ever do keto, man. Oh man, the belly button, like the really close little hole that isn't even a hole, those are the chewiest, moistest parts of the bagel and I love it. Uh -huh. If it looks like I'm trying to squeeze boobs, I am because bagels just feel like the best kind of boobs to me, you know? Bagel boobs. Have you ever squeezed boobs besides your own? I'm not a big fan of boobs. Okay, these... Uh, and I've only had to squeeze my own boobs to check for lumps. You know? Really glamorous shit of being 
a breasted person. So what we're calling them now. Yeah, a breasted person. Mm -hmm. This is good. Yeah. Turn off the heat. <laughs> Boob gills. <laughs> Bring you closer, bring you closer to the bagel. Lightly toasted, but Aaron once asked for lightly toasted and they burned the shit, yeah, out, of the the shit out of the bagel. And Aaron they almost, didn't listen to me at all. Aaron almost never goes back when a place gets his order wrong, but we felt like for $4 a bagel, if you blacken the shit out of your customer's quote unquote lightly toasted bagel, you should redo it. So I we went back. that was Davidovich bagel to Central or Chelsea Market. In Chelsea Market, you are correct. Yes. Um, I would call them out on stream. I don't care. There's not a lot of good food in Chelsea Market. For the most there's part, it's overrated. Food. But the one place that we love going to in Chelsea Market is... Los Tacos number one. Yes. Yeah, the best tacos I've ever had. Sorry, that's the way it is. So <laughs> these bagels were one fifty, without anything. Uh, but if you get it with cream cheese, it's like three eighty five. If you get it with specialty cream cheese, it's like four fifty. I didn't get it with cream cheese because I didn't fucking want to pay three dollars for. Her. Um, Galata, you become a mod when you become a mod when I assign you to be a mod. June already has like a thousand mods. We so. do have a lot of mods. I'm always open to getting more mods, but I also basically feel like more mods also mean more censorship because if you're a mod and you, if you have the power to like censor people, then if you see stuff that doesn't ride well with you, you might mute them or anything. So I'm going to hold on mods now, but if any of our current mods ever want to tap out, just keep letting me know in the chat and I'll switch out mods. How much is pizza in New York? It varies from $1 a slice to $5 a slice. It varies from $10 a pie to $28 and a pie. And the price does not, is not necessarily correlated with the quality. Yeah. Um, so, are you sore from your exercise yesterday? Mm, not really. June the goes really hard, heavier and harder than that. The only yesterday. thing that makes me sore is proper weight training with, like, weights that are heavier than 20 pounds, which I haven't had access to, so I really haven't been sore at all for the past year, unfortunately. We have so many favorite pizza places. Prince Street being number one. Have you ever had a BLT June's, with bagel? And June's number one pizza in the world is? My number one pizza in the world right now is Joe and Pat's. Joe and Pat's. Um, I actually don't like anything on my bagel except for cream cheese. And I also don't like anything except peanut butter or cream cheese on my cinnamon raisin bagels. So I never really get like the lox bagels. It's just cream cheese. I just like cream cheese. Are you so excited for your everything bagel? I am so pumped, yes. What when was the last time you recall having a good bagel? I don't Not know. I don't have bagel. I don't have bagels often, honestly. Alright guys, this took me two and a half hours to walk to in Brooklyn. It cost me a dollar fifty. Aaron's gonna give you a review. It sucks. No, it doesn't. I'm just kidding, it's good. Um Aaron, can you share? No. June gets nothing. No, yeah, this is good. It's awesome. Um, I'm trying to detect what I noticed the differences should be being an egg bagel. I'm not sure I'm picking up a lot of flavor difference. It's salted butter. Um, I mean, the texture is great. It, it's like, you know, it has a chew, but it's also like soft and, and doughy, you know, and pillowy. Yeah, the best parts yeah. of a bagel is like that. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it doesn't really taste different than other bagels, but the, but the dough quality is great. Texture is really a big part of bagels because at, at the end of the day, bagels are just, like, really dense bread. Mm -hmm. So... 
Oh, you're giving me a bite? Mm -hmm. Well, I obviously want the bottom portion. Okay, I'll, you can have wait, wait, wait. Actually, I want the, uh... oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I want the belly button portion. Okay. I want the belly button portion right there. What do you think, June? Yo, this is so good with butter. Yes. It is perfect with butter. And you toasted it perfectly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good job, Aaron. Thank you, June. Wow. Pure delight. Well, what do you think of the bagel? Is it worth uh, $83 or how much you paid for it? It's worth $1.50. I've had worse bagels for $1.50. Hello, Minakshi Sharma, a big fan of us and not sleeping and watching her live right now. Where's Joburg? Is that Johannesburg? I think so. South Africa? South Africa. Uh, right, we fine. said it so you can stop spamming us now. <laughs> yes, hi Sweden. Um, I'm very sorry, but I don't have much time on most days to stream earlier in the day, for I have work, for now. Who knows for how much longer? So, do you notice a difference in flavor with this egg bagel and the regular bagel? Well, you buttered it, mm -hmm. so I honestly, well, can I have best. a portion that see doesn't... If, see if you can detect it. You're a food expert. Mm. Well, let me tell you guys something. Egg bagels might have egg, but they are mostly just food coloring. And you know why I know? It is? Look at the streak. Do you see the streak right here? Oh. That's a streak of food coloring that was not worked it's in not well. from the egg. So there's no way that this yellow is from the egg because if you put this much egg into a bagel, it will not rise like this. It will change the entire integrity of the gluten structure. Eggs are heavy. Eggs are very fatty, and um, that much fat will disrupt the gluten formation. So this egg bagel might have traces of egg, but probably it's 90% food coloring. So it's like a, basically a regular The point bagel. of food coloring in any food, Jenny, is to make it look like the thing that it purports to be. Which in this case is egg, but... So good, man. Butter. Thank you for answering a commonly asked question, Samantha. You get 10 plus, plus 10 points. Yeah, this is awesome. I love this bagel. Not really egg, you know, Tuba. But it is a really good bagel, guys. Thank you for hauling this all the way from Brooklyn for me, June. Yeah, obviously, if I'm going to freaking Brooklyn, I gotta bring back a bagel for you. That's a good bagel. I believe my other favorite bagel is from Essa Bagel. The last time we went, which must have been like three, four years ago now. Essa Bagel also has multiple locations in the city. I believe the original <clears throat> one is in Midtown Manhattan. June did walk to Brooklyn. Two and a half hours. I did not walk back, but mm -hmm. yes, I did walk too. June's, June did not injure her knee recently. She just has shitty knees. I have a lot of uh, problems with my body. Mostly joint issues now that I'm getting older, unfortunately. I probably will be like 40 years old walking around with painful arthritis and Want another bite of mine? No, I got mine too. Hello, the silky one in Little Rock, Arkansas. What up, Arkansas? Or as it should be pronounced, Arkansas, because it's spelled exactly. Yeah, like that. I was so confused when I saw Arkansas spelled, because it does not make sense, does it? Do you want to bite of my um, whole wheat one to compare? Sure. Whenever you're ready. 
It won't be toasted. Okay. But you can toast it if you'd like. Hello, Helena and Chris. Hello, boo boo. Boo boo. It is pretty hot today here, Aaron. I don't know if it's as hot as in Cincinnati because I don't know the weather in Cincinnati, but it's about 86 or 88 today. I think it should hit 91 at some mm -hmm. point. Hello, Nadian Santos from Florida. And Lydia Azure F. Garrett Ski. Whoa, that's a From name. Texas. Texas. How are things in Texas now? How are things in Texas? I heard only two things are from Texas. Never what? mind. What? I'm not going to say it. Okay, don't say it. <clears throat> Were you just going to be your offensive self again? You'll never know. Uh, Aaron, can you say my name? I assure you, you're gonna get it wrong. Well, no, not if I'm gonna get it wrong. Do you want a piece from this side or that side? Um, that side, I have more striations. Do you want to toast it? Uh, no, I'll just eat a chunk. Okay. I got two bagels. That's it. Did anyone see how bad the UK did at Eurovision last night? Uh, I don't think June or I, if I could be so bold as to speak for June, give a shit about Eurovision. That's actually not true. No, oh, never mind. June my gives friend Giannis, a slight shit about it. My friend Giannis likes to watch Eurovision, and he got me into it in college, and I find it very enjoyable, but without, like, a camaraderie of people to watch it with, I don't really want to watch it by myself, so I've fallen out of watching it, but I'm... It's one of those things where, like, if I have a group of friends who are watching it, I would love to watch it with someone, but otherwise it just makes me be feel very sad to watch it alone. This friend is from Latvia, the beautiful country of Latvia. Would bagels work in bread pudding or stuffing dressing? Probably. Probably. Probably better in stuffing. Bread pudding, I feel like you should go with slightly less dense bread. This is for me? Yeah. Wow, so kind. You might want butter for comparison, now that I'll, you've had butter. I'll try a bite with butter, but also a bite plain. Hmm. It's really good, yeah. These bagels are awesome. No complaints. Even untoasted is good, right? Yeah, I don't even think it needs butter. It tastes great. Wow. That is the highest compliment. It does not need butter. Mm -hmm. Have no. you ever had a whole wheat The bagel? highest, June. The highest compliment is it doesn't need chili. Well, Which does it want. need chili? Yeah, I'm going to Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Chili on bagel, guys. Leave it to Aaron. Not just any chili. I don't think these cherries are covered in oil now. Not this time. No, they're just washed. The United States is planning on starting its own Eurovision. How would that even work? <laughs> would they call it Eurovision? No. <laughs> isn't that just American Idol? Isn't that what... Isn't it a singing contest? So how the fuck is it different than American Idol? Wow. Dripping. How is it with all gumma? Well, delicious, obviously. Wow. 
Mm -hmm. That's a new one for me. Bagel with love, Emma. I'm a Libra. I don't think we'll ever buy peanut butter chips again, though. No. And Aaron drinks coffee in the morning sometimes. What what peanut butter chips? Your fateful peanut butter chip blueberry concoction. Oh, right. I mean, I like those. I like the Reese's peanut butter chips. Cherries are from a um, local Chinese supermarket. They were on sale for two dollars a pound. You can eat ice cream with your wisdom teeth removed, can't you? Mm. Ice cream. I don't think the U.S. would do your vision very well, no. We lack the kind of, like, insane creativity and weirdness that Europe has from all over. I just learned that, like, Australia is not Eurovision. Okay. So? Isn't that weird? It's not in Europe. Hmm. Is it just supposed to be like white people? Is, is it its Eurovision? own? Is, is that it, all Eurovision means? Is, is white people contest? Is it its own continent? It's whatever it is. It's, I can promise you, Australia isn't in Europe. <laughs> okay, but like maybe Europe was just trying to be nice and be like Australia is on its own all the time. Why not just invite it to this one? And Georgia's in Eurovision. So is Israel. Lots of places that aren't in Europe. I think it's just like if your if your country has white people mostly, then you can be in Eurovision. Dell cheese crunchies are just all right, and that's why they're amazing because you can eat the whole bag and not feel like shit. Australia and Israel. I just said that. Oh, sorry. Mm. My bad. Don't worry about it. How are your cherries? They're good. Why no olive oil? I just wanted, you know, fresh, regular fruit. So why isn't Indian Eurovision then, huh? If it's a commonwealth thing. Yikes. Answer me that. Yikes. Riddle me that. Ooh, everything bagel seasoning broccoli, guys. Well, India has been set independent, right? Right, but it's still part of the, um, I think it's called the Commonwealth of Independent States. Oh. The former... I didn't know that. Uh, Britain places. Huh. Wow, uh, it's like a country association. Jenny, we won the Webby! Yay! It was out, like, Wednesday or something. Wednesday or Tuesday? Whatever the 18th was. That's right. We won the panel Webby. We didn't win the audience People's Choice Webby. Which is the more prestigious one? I think the panel. Oh, because that's by the like the academy. The big the academy win. decided. Anyway, pretty boring stuff because I'm mad tired. Um. I'm definitely not cooking. Well, I want lentils, but I really don't want to cook today. It is freaking hot. It's so hot. You can just tap in the other room whenever you need to cool off. I just don't feel like cooking, so I'm just going to be munching here, chatting with you guys. That's it. So, I know some of you were disappointed last night when I was just, like, not doing anything in the kitchen, which I totally understand. I'm known for doing food stuff, but I'm also human, so here we are. It's so hot, Dylan. Oh, 98 degrees sounds horrendous. Can I need a cherry if it's soft? That? No. Okay. Here, let me show. This is discolored. It's like browning. It's soft. It's probably rotten on the inside. This small baby one is fine if you want to gnaw around the crisper side, but this big one is discolored and soft, and it's like, it's just going to taste bitter. 
you won't probably get sick from it from it once, but it's just gonna taste really bitter. No goo. No goo. It's been raining in Texas all week. I wish it rained here. I love a good rain. Oh, I have farmer's cheese that I can put on my bagel. Oh man, now I'm sad I forgot I didn't do that. Ha -ha. I, I would have been good on it. Hello, Labiba. You can have a bite of mine. No, it's fine. Um, I'm not really a fan of soccer. I find it incredibly boring. What I do like is soccer jerseys. I thought the Italy jersey was pretty. Well, I nice. bought it. We I got also, the bagel. We got the cheese. I also own an Arsenal bagel jersey. Cheese. Bagel cheese. But well, that's mainly because it says fly in it. Well, let's do the YouTuber thing. There we go. Wow. I feel like I would much rather just give myself too much cheese at home for half the price. Thank you. That's very generous. I know. You've donated so much of your bagel to me. I'm very generous, Aaron. Mm -hmm. Should I eat it with cherry? Cherry on top of my bagel? Ew! Get that shit out of <laughs> here. Don't. I knew it would trigger you. you. Commit so much sacrilege <laughs> to the food I provide. Mm. Mm. Okay. What do you think? I totally tempers down the flavors of the everything coating and stuff because it's like a you know very very plain cheese. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But just make it a nice interesting textual experience. Mm. Super tart. Hi Germany. Oh yeah. This cheese is nice and creamy and tart. Goes really well with the onion and the garlic actually. Picks it up, makes it taste like a, like a, like a baked caramelized onion thing. Wow. Yeah, cherries and oil and tahini. Really good. People don't believe right. it. Everybody should try that. Get some cherries, pour olive oil on top, then shake some tahini on top. Shake, shake, shake. You'll love it. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. Shake your booty. Um, I never saw Arsenal play when I was in Britain because, like I said, I don't really give a shit about soccer. I just like soccer jerseys. I'm not even a fan of Arsenal. I think, Damn. Um, All these people feel tricked. Do you yeah. know how many Arsenal fans you gained in the comments? Who were so excited to see Aaron I couldn't, rep Arsenal. I, swear, I could not tell you a single player on Arsenal. I have no wow. idea how they're doing. Oh my god, Aaron, I forgot. I bought Brie. This is going to be amazing. Mm -hmm. Brie is going to be amazing on bagels, guys. <gasps> I'm so excited. And the unknown fort site I had. Here's the Brie that I bought for $4 at Parrot Coffee. Tour de Paris. Cool. Um, fromage de France à pâte molle au lait pasteurisé. I can't say that. I give up. Also, I think Arsenal is one of those teams that tried joining the Super League, right? So fuck them. Literally trying to ruin everything about uh, mm. European soccer. Bloomy Rind, YouTuber thing. There we go. Wow, that works for the white balance so much and the exposure. What was your favorite thing you enjoyed while you were in England? Um, I don't know if you're going to like this, but I don't like England very much. Do you like boring. brie, Aaron? Would you like some brie? Um, sure. I saw Karl Marx's grave in Highgate Cemetery. That was cool. Of course you would like Karl Marx's grave mm -hmm. in England. Well, there's not much to do there. It kind of sucks. So... <laughs> Three on bagel. I'm looking forward to this very much. I guess the brie should be more room temp, but I never temp my cheese like the professionals do it. I went to the, like the Tate Modern and all those museums. 
the British Museum, which is worse than the Met, by the way. I was expecting it to be incredible, like bigger than the Met, grander, you know, cooler art, but it wasn't. It was like smaller than the Met and was also much more limited in scope. The British Museum is basically just like old shit that Britain, that England stole Isn't from that all, of their all of the places they colonized. Isn't that all of the shit? Uh, yeah. Not pretty much everything. I like the farmer's cheese on the bagel better. Mm -hmm. More tartness and flavor. In Going Europe, back. in Europe, June and I have been to uh, Spain, Spain, Portugal, and Italy. What is English cuisine? <laughs> I don't know. Sausage I, I, and potatoes? Um, I tried to find good food there, but all I found was like a bunch of Sainsbury's and shit like that. What's Sainsbury's? It's like a grocery store. Uh, I found a bunch of one one pound uh, sandwiches that were like okay. two, that were like egg and cress or, or tuna and toast and whatever. I'm like, okay. Was that just because you didn't want to eat out? No, I, I did try to eat out. From there's like a uh, Middle Eastern neighborhood by Highgate Cemetery that I liked. I actually had a good Syrian meal there, mm -hmm. and I had um, I don't remember. This was years ago now. It was basically the only good stuff I had was, you know. Is that true? All the museums in London are free. That's pretty nifty. I don't I remember. That. UK is incredible for gluten-free food. That's not Aaron food at all. Mm -mm. No. Yeah, it was... The only good food I had in England was the non-English food. Was the, like, you know, immigrant type stuff. Which is the case in a lot of places. It's certainly the case in New York. Although I don't know what Later. native New York food is. Mmm, more cheese. I guess this just turned into a cheese fest. I do like British breakfast. You know, the full English, whatever you guys call it. That's awesome, you know. Can't go wrong with breakfast. Some old brekkie. Toast, beans, hash. Hmm. Black, black pudding, bread pudding, I don't know what it is. Isn't black pudding like a blood thing? Yeah, or black sausage. Maybe I'm thinking of black sausage. Bacon, you know. Cheese. Mmm. Hi Madrid, originally from Chicago. Okay. This is the winner. This boric cheese, super salty, super rich, super creamy. Provides deliciousness to the bagel of the best. The brie was a no-go. I think I needed to add salt onto this a little bit. I don't even think I posted any photos on my Insta of my England trip. That's how, that's how little I, I even found to uh, have interest there. I mean, I like fish and chips, if that's a British thing. It's whatever. We haven't been to Montreal. I want to go for the bagels. What other Montreal food do I need to eat when we finally visit one day? Oh. We did uh, sneak into... Uh, What's the cathedral in London? I Yes, I've been to Absolute Bagels, and I think it's a little bit overrated. It's not bad, but I think this one was better. Is it Westminster Abbey? I don't know. One? I think it was Westminster Abbey, the one in central London, like the really old one. And we didn't want to pay. It was like 20 pounds or something for admission. And we didn't want to pay that. So my father, who I was with at the time, and my grandmother pretended to be, uh, like, we're not really religious, but we pretended to be Christians. Uh, to just like, because Christians can go in to do mass. You lied? For free. Yeah, we lied about that. Dang. Or you had to pay 20, 20 quid to, uh, you know. Liars. Walk around and get the entry ticket. So we, like, went in and did mass there in order to not pay. Absolute bagel is not bad, but I think I went too late and the bagel got a little bit stale and it was just very dense and... Without cream cheese, I just didn't feel like it was worth a special trip to get it. But maybe some people disagree. The best food in England is Nando's. 
but then you don't even need to go to England for that. You can get that in like DC. It's not in New York yet. I'll be so happy when Nando's is in New York. I'll go get some cheeky Nando's. But uh, yeah, it's here. Oh, are you ready to try this? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, I went to see my friend Peter and his partner Patrick yesterday in Astoria, and they were like, "You have to try the spread. It's everywhere." And Yes, we went to a supermarket there, and there were like two dozen varieties at least of Ashvar. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but this comes from. It's Peter product, was saying like Avar. Oh, Avar. I Maybe it's Avar. Right. Um, product of North Macedonia: red peppers, eggplant, sunflower oil, sugar, salt, acetic acid, and garlic, and that's it. And it's like a dip. You can eat it on bread. I'm guessing you can spoon it into your mouth. I'm gonna eat it with my broccoli stems. You can have as much as cherries, June. I'm putting the rest away. Thank you. Um, it comes with mild and spicy, and I went with mild because I really can't handle spice anymore. Like, my hands are so bad when I do too much spicy stuff. Pretty thick. Pretty thick dip. All right. And it's a gorgeous color, too. We're eating with, with, with broccoli? Wow. I cannot believe this hand trick works so well for exposure. Um, you can cut yourself a slice of brie if you want to eat it on the brie. I'm fine with this. Mm-hmm. Veggie spread. Mmm. Very red pepper forward. This one has basically no spice whatsoever in it. Aaron's gonna hate it because it's not spicy, but it you can add spiciness to it. Zero percent. Are chilies in the list? Start the ingredient list. Red pepper. No, that could be anything. It could be like bell pepper. Um, Israel's occupation of Palestine. What do you think we think I'm, about it, knowing the rest of what you know about us and our politics and stuff? Do you, think, do you kids, think we support that? <laughs> as the kids say, free Palestine, right? Um, it's insane to me that. Any group of people can justify violently oppressing any other group of people, and that's it. It applies to all geographies. There is no excuse whatsoever to do it under any circumstances. Well, the excuse is they want the land. I know. These other people have the land, and they want it. Well, then I say go fuck yourself. Um, because I think there is enough land for us all to live without bombing each other and killing each other and shooting down kids and making kids see their parents get killed right in front of their eyes. Um, like, Aaron showed me some videos of um, forced evacuations of Palestinians. Evictions. Yeah, evictions. What did I say? Evacuation. Yeah, they literally just push people out of their own homes. And I don't understand how this is not, um, how we just allow this shit to happen. Like, I thought we had the UN to stop shit like this, but well, apparently it doesn't do anything. The UN stops them from getting any consequences of the UN. By the way, somebody asked earlier, I didn't just go to London, I have family in uh i think the town is called tem and uh why well, i went to saw them and we sort of like went around the english countryside we went to uh oxford we also went to canterbury i did like i actually did like oxford and canterbury i like the historical sites i like the old churches and cathedrals and stuff canterbury cathedral was awesome uh so i didn't just see london hi Greece. maria i don't I have to admit, I'm actually quite ignorant when it comes to history and politics, so I don't know about Serbia and Kosovo at all, but Aaron probably does. But yeah, I can't speak to that because I don't know anything it's about it. It's a similar it. situation. It was an ethnic cleansing of a Muslim minority in, uh, in the Balkans. Is it still ongoing oppression? Um, no, because the countries like split up and they each got their own country. so. 
pretty much fixed it. Does that mean they figured it out? I don't. Well, I don't think it's exactly a paradise, but uh, the U that actually the UN actually did step in there, and there was a peacekeeping operation that came in and stopped the genocide and like separated everybody. Yeah, that's Sarah, what needs to happen. Sarah R H, and yeah, Samantha's totally right. Aaron would completely agree with you that. The violence committed by Israel is totally funded and overseen by USA, um, among other countries. But yeah, Sarah R. H. Aaron just told me that a mutual friend of ours was visiting Palestine, and she was on a tour bus, and apparently Israelis just came out and started just, like throwing rocks at their bus. Because there was a woman in a hijab in the bus. Just that simple. I don't... I don't know what they indoctrinated people with there to have this kind of like act of hate to motivate them to such an extent that an ordinary person would just start throwing rocks at people. That's so much effort. It's a very, very strong act of propaganda campaign. Like, it starts with, like, birthright, trying to get Jews from all over the world to go, and then the whole, like, trip of birthright is just, like, constant propaganda telling you, like, trying to get it into your head that, you know, you should move here, this is your land, it was promised to you by God, you know, you deserve it, all that stuff. Ignore the people who are currently living here, of course. Francis, I also had this question, and Aaron basically said yesterday, Francis is asking why the USA has constant support of Israel. It's basically to have a geographic ally in that area. It's all about power, right? The only reason why we'd get, we would give anyone money is to have power in exchange. Israel flushed the two-state solution straight down the toilet when they uh, do, did the What do you trip. have to say to Leora? That's, that's what I'm saying. They're, the two-state solution is completely dead now, thanks to people like Netanyahu, and thanks to Israel constantly expanding the settlements. Like, if you look at like a map of the West Bank where Palestinians are allowed to go, it's like just, you know, tiny, tiny little sections and zones. Like, what the area that is supposed to be Palestine in a theoretical future two-state solution has just, you know, basically been annexed uh, bit by bit so much by Israel that, like, it's, you know, laughable to even, to even suggest that anymore. And especially to suggest that Israel is okay with it because their actions have demonstrated they weren't. If they were okay with the two-state solution, they wouldn't have done illegal settlements all over the West Bank for so many years now. Yeah, I don't have accurate titles. The titles are just whatever I'm thinking about starting the stream with. But where the stream goes depends totally on what the chat box is feeding us. So, you're welcome to feed us different questions if this has just gotten too political. Right, sure. I haven't been to Brighton, Manchester, Birmingham, or Blackpool. I guess I could go back to England and try those towns and see if I like them, but uh, I have no plans to for a long time. All right, there's many other places on my travel list I've got to go, rather than go back to England and give it another chance. Yeah, Geraldo was, was pretty based, as the kids say recently on Fox. He's actually one of the few people actually standing up for... You know, the, the, Bye, Diana. the right cause there. Jenny, I'm so sorry to report. I just finished eating all the bagels, so the bagel content is finito. Um, we need our daily Fred content. Fred is in the bedroom, chilling with the AC. I tried to tempt him here, but uh, he ain't coming. I, I feel like the bagel was worth, worth the walk, but obviously I didn't walk just for the bagel. I walked to meet my co-workers so does yeah. it look like june deals with the organization in a small kitchen take what you see the counter right in front okay of excuse me <laughs> okay well you can answer then wow how do you deal with the organization in a small kitchen then june go on then i just push things into all <laughs> okay these there is your hands she pushes them Aaron has a rule of like every time I gain something new, like this glass that I found for Which free you've on been the floor, for the last, like, 10 I have to get rid of something. But I also had a rule that was like, Aaron, if you use plastic disposables when you eat out, then you have to keep it forever. And he hasn't been following that, so. Yeah, tit for tat.
Damn. It is, it is so freaking hot in New York. Francis, I ate some bagel and cheese and now I'm eating brie and broccoli and this red pepper dip. Um, gardening sounds amazing. Aaron, what counts as Western New York? Um, I don't know. It's debatable. Probably like uh, west of Albany or Utica or, Sar or maybe west of Syracuse. Jenny, your English is fine. I didn't think anything was a problem with it. Yeah, I found this on the ground. It was in a free box outside someone's house. I put out a box with random kitchen things and cups and glasses, and I picked one off. This one's actually really heavy. I figured it'd be a good whiskey glass for Aaron. Are you making tea? Yes, uh, I'm just rebrewing what I have in my cup. Francis from Niagara Falls. What? A fellow Bills fan, I assume. You want some sausage? Why is Rochester strange? Do you want um, some sausage? No, I had it in my ramen this morning. Mm. Rochester's beautiful. Why is it strange? Who says Rochester is strange? I don't know. My, Michael says the strangest city I've been to in New York. Yeah, that's it's fine. The flavor's fine, but I'm not into it, obviously, because it's not spicy. I can see how I would really like the spicy versions, so. though. Sam, some people just plant their scallion roots in water and it grows. I started potting them because I feel like they grow even better. And also the thing with water is the roots have a higher probability of rotting if you don't switch out the water like every other day. Um, so I just one day I decided to pot them in soil and they grew to be really nice and tall. But they only pretty much grow, regrow once for me. Like if I chop them off and try to regrow them again, they don't really work that well. Maybe I'm not cutting them the right way when I harvest them, but I don't know. They just don't grow well. Oh, I didn't show the thrift store finds yet. Do you guys want to see? I bought two things. This pepper dip is so good. I'm going to finish this entire jar by tomorrow. What's Adrian's kickback? I have no idea. Tell us, CC. We're not well, California yeah, homies. It wasn't even directed at us, so. <laughs> I know, but I saw it, and I want to know. Mm -hmm. June's a Californian at heart, but not of that place. Okay. Surf store find. I found this nice shirt. It's a very dad shirt, and it's a very blah beige color. But I figured it would be really, really nice to pair with pants in the summer because this shit is 100% silk, guys. So it's going to be really nice and cooling and ventilating in the summer. And I got it for $3. Oh, yeah. Very it's nice thin and fabric. soft. Soft and thin. What's the material on that? Silk. Silk. You didn't pay attention. No. Why, why would I? Be careful with Ashbar, it'll fill you up. Trust me, I went down that road many times. Oh, don't worry about it. My stomach knows how to get filled. Um, who is the funniest person you know? June is pretty s silly sometimes. You don't like <laughs> my humor. I, I don't, I don't laugh at your intentional jokes, but I laugh at you know when you're being silly. You never think I'm funny. <laughs> you always say I'm not funny. Okay, if you're funny, tell me a joke. Great joke, June. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Apparently, Adrian's kickback was supposed to be a 16th birthday party. I don't know what the hell you guys are talking I about in no chat. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> it does suit you well, June. That's a, that's a, I feel like you own a lot of things in that color family. I do? Yeah, you like the beige. And... It's, very, it's a very camping color. Mm-hmm. It's very thin material though because it's silk, so I don't think I can pin anything on it. 
without it coming apart. Waiting for Aaron's drippy shirt. For the that's collection. that's just uh, that video is just the collective delish uh, June videos. <laughs> um, yeah, three dollars for silk. When I saw that it was silk, I was just like, all right. Well, even if I don't feel like this color is great, maybe I'll just wear it at home. But it was pooped out by bugs. Yeah, isn't that amazing? You okay with that? So's honey. All right, true. I love honey. Uh, I assume you mean dodgy haircut, Galata, and no. Okay, and the second thing that I bought was, at first, I was like, this is insane, this is crazy. I've really been into red, so I found... That's the, the reddest thing I've ever seen. I found this turtlenecky, short-sleeved thing, and um, it is also $3, and it is the other fabric that I really like. It is 100% cotton, and the strangest thing, and it's made in Argentina, which I don't think I've owned any clothes that is made in Argentina. Guys, it comes with fucking shoulder pads. Um, and I'm not crazy about shoulder pads, so normally I would tear it out, but this thing is like sewn in. Normally I have shoulder pads that I can very easily dissemble by just like clipping the two ends that it has shoulder pad sew, like sewing attachments on there. But this one is like, if I have to um, detach it, I would have to like undo the stitching for the whole thing, which might ruin the integrity of it, but shoulder pads, intense. Um, so let's try it on. Well. It is quite hot in here, so I'm going to go to the room we have AC in okay. and let you continue your try and party. Uh, I hope everybody has an excellent day. That's it. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Erin. Thanks yeah. for eating bagels with Thank us. Thank you for bringing it. It was delicious. Holly, I'm not that crafty. I don't know how to seam fabric. Wow, the shoulder pads are a little intense. I honestly have like pretty good shoulder structure, so I normally don't do shoulder pads because it just makes me look very ridiculously padded, but um, I like it still. It's a really nice turtleneck, and it has that like optimal sleeve length that I like. It has a little bit of a, what do you, what do you, like a cuff, a cuff on it. So it's nice. I like it. Not bad. I was gonna try these things on before buying them, but the dressing rooms were closed probably because of COVID. So, yeah, maybe uh, we try to dissemble the pads. <laughs> don't do, don't do the shoulder pads because it's 2021. Oh my god. Yeah, shoulder pads. I think the purpose is to make your waist look skinny because when they tell you to work out and build muscle, they always tell you to build out your back muscles because if you develop your back muscles, it would make your waist look comparatively trimmer, skinnier. Um, that's pretty knit, guys. It's really, it's really knit. I do want to... I mean, it's only three bucks, so if I fuck it up, I fuck it up, but, um, but that's all I have to show you. Not that big of a haul. This particular thrift store that I went to has dollar racks, too, but I just couldn't find anything in my size. They had so many pants on the dollar racks, and they were like Levi's, Wrangler, all of those vintage shit that is like super expensive now. Um... Here's my seam ripper. I don't think I can just cut them off, guys, you know? So what I can do is instead of ripping the seams on either side, maybe I start with this seam in the middle. She's like, watch June make bad decisions. The shoulder pads are a look, but they're like too much of a look for me.
are there any dishes you'd love to try and cook but are nervous of getting wrong? I mean, it really just depends on whether or not I have eaten them before in person because how would I even know how much I failed or succeeded if I don't have something to compare them to? So in terms of things that I've eaten, is there anything that I would like to try and cook? Hmm, I don't know. I mean, one fascinating thing that I've always wanted to try to make is croissants, but it's just so much butter and it's so time intensive and I never have that much time. There's a lot of baked goods that I would love to master. As far as savory stuff, I don't know. That's a good question. I would also love to learn how to make roti chennai properly, the way they get those flaky layers. Like I tried to do it on the first budget eats, but I really couldn't succeed at it. <laughs> Excuse me, it came out really dense and not very fluffy and buttery and not very layered. So I have a fascination with dough. Anything that involves dough, I would love to learn how to make. Yeah, I love the jicama actually. It was nice and crunchy, really bland. And I don't mean that in a bad way. It's just like an, a blank canvas for you to do stuff to. All right. So far, so good. Now we need to learn how to detach the two ends. Oh, the Helena, are you talking about the morning buns? I love the morning buns recipe, but I love the um the evaporated milk version way better. I feel like the evaporated milk has more fattiness to it, so it gives it a more um layered result. That wasn't too hard. Let's see if I messed up any part of the shirt. That's always the fear with removing seams on anything as you just create huge gaping holes. Looks pretty good. Good job, June. Um, did you try Lacha Paratha recipes for Roti Chennai? Yeah, I might have to. Thanks for the suggestion. I have to check that out. Hi, India. What up, Mumbai? Um, the milk dough pizza. Yeah, the pan pizza. I'm really proud of that recipe. I actually had another dough when I was developing that recipe that yielded way bubblier dough, like a lot of air bubbles in the final product, but it was a very, very wet dough. And I feel like that wasn't quite like the kind of dense, soft, pillowy dough that I was going for, but that dough would have made a fantastic focaccia. Aaron got to eat all stages of that pan pizza test, and he, I think he loved almost every stage of it. It's just like when you put bread together with olive oil, cook it at a high heat, and then you slather cheese and sauce on top of it, you really can't go wrong. So. Oh, interesting. Evaporated milk here in my area is like available at, at almost every store, but I totally get that. Basically anything with more fat will have that same result. So you can probably also even try heavy cream. Hi, Sweden. Can you reuse shoulder pads? Yeah, probably. I don't know what yet. I could probably make a little toy for Fred, you know? 
He is such a trash cat and I love him dearly for it. We bought him so many toys and he only plays with the ones that I've made him. Oh, I enjoy making toys for my cat. So maybe this can be a cat toy material. Beanie boobies. Ooh, cold noodles with sesame and peanut sauce. Yeah. That's a good one too. With the chili oil on top, yeah. That's also such an easy recipe too. I always feel awkward giving, developing recipes that are that simple where you just basically whisk a lot of things together, but I guess that's the tradition of recipe cooking. Shoulder pad mice, yeah. I bet you would love that. The key to that is I just have to make them small enough for him because I think he gets overwhelmed with anything bigger than like two and a half inches across. It, they just look too big to him and he doesn't wanna play with them. Fred has not shown up today yet, guys. Maybe I'll bring you to him when I sign off. He's just chilling in the bedroom. He's asleep. On the bed? Yeah. He is dead asleep. Don't worry, I'll wake him up. For you guys, I'll torture my cat. I still remember the first comment I got when I first started showing Fred off on the lives and they were like, I came here for cooking content, not for cat content. And I was like, well, we all change and evolve, guys. I can't stay cooking forever. I must also be a human sometimes. Shoulder bat too, done. Hello, South Africa. Oh yeah, the curtain moves because we have the AC there. The only reason why we have a curtain up when like, we first put it up is because we wanted to trap the AC air inside our main room where the AC unit is because we, outside of our closets and our bathrooms, we don't have any other doors. So it's very um, difficult to make our bedroom stay cold and to conserve energy and to like make sure our electricity bill doesn't blow up. We were just like, we need something as a barrier to keep the cold air in. What's my favorite sushi? I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of sushi, but I think my favorite thing is the, the tofu skin wrappers, like the fried tofu skin wrappers, and then you stuff the rice in there. I don't remember the name of it. All right, it's just a normal turtleneck now, guys. Ta-da! It's a very retro fit, which I like. Good job, June. Tofu skin. Tofu skin is like yuba. It's um, it's basically like if you make soy milk and then you turn that into tofu, they often skim up the very top of the soy milk where it's the creamiest part. So it's basically like the heavy cream portion of tofu making and they'll dry that really creamy part off. So that is tofu skin and it's absolutely delicious.
And that's all the content I have for you guys today. Wow, that was an hour. An hour of me doing nothing. Um, yeah, they do sell tofu skin. I'm not sure. Like the kind that they use for sushi, you can probably find in the refrigerated aisle, but you're right, I don't know if it's as common to buy. Um, but if you're just buying Yuba, it comes dehydrated in the soup ingredients aisle in a lot of Chinese stores. But that's not the exact same product that they use in those sushi pieces. So. Oh yes, unagi. Yes, I love eel as well. How do you spell what? He's dead. Dead on the bed. Wow. Oh, Yuba, Y-U-B-A. <laughs> Fred is like, get the fuck out of here. I am not your pillow. do his under chin. I do do his under chin. I do both. Double attack. Um, Fred likes to sleep all over the bed and he refuses to let me brush him so now my bed is filled with cat fur everywhere and I roll around in it and then I wake up sneezing because I'm still allergic to a cat. He is purring. Hers. What's a chom chom? That sounds cute. Oh, lint roller. Okay. What a squishy face. Look, look at that paw placement right there right on my hand. Hey, why did you take the paw away? Oh yeah, Sharpays have very squishy faces. Uh oh. I got too close to the belly. Oh, too close to the belly. I wish you could see his very um, impressive chest fur. It's so regal looking. You're so regal looking cat. A regal looking cat. Hi Athena. Who would you like to host for dinner, dead or alive? Uh, I don't know. I don't really care. I would love to host Nietzsche. I just want to meet Nietzsche. I want to see what kind of a crazy man he is. Preferably before he went mad with syphilis. Preferably. Ooh, you going for a nipple there, Fred? You trying to give me a nipple? Wow. Look at that belly. Oh! <laughs> Didn't like the. Oh! Yeah, you don't like the belly. Noam Chomsky? He's more of an Aaron figure. I don't really. I, I wouldn't want him over for dinner. He's like a thousand years old now, and he's just kind of. 
He looks a little creepy now. You don't like old people, Aaron? Uh, it's just, he, he looks like a, uh, a, already a skeleton or something. It's a little creepy. It's true, though. Post-syphilis Nietzsche would be more interesting. You're right. What was I thinking? Give me the syphilitic Nietzsche. Were you just waiting for Aaron to be gone? And then you hopped back on the bed. Do you like me better when it comes to your petting servant? Yes. Very sniffles. Very sniffles. Do you ever read Food 52 here? Sometimes. They have this article, the absolute best way to cook a hot dog, according to so many tests. Whoa. What's the absolute best way? I don't know, but there's they did nine different ways. Stove top sear, stove top steam and sear, oil, boil and beer. Just tell me which one's the best. Uh. Coco, I'm going to take my um, chef's knife and... That's a very good question. Do I care about my teeth? Do I want to pull like a Tom Hanks castaway and develop cavities? I don't know. It's a very tough question. If I'm on a deserted island with no experience in the wilderness, let's face it, we're gonna die in under three months, so. For the juiciest, most flavorful dog, oil and beer. And you'll end up with a plump contender that tastes more like a hot dog than any other hot dog. Huh. Yeah. Boil and beer, Fred. What do you think? Would you boil and beer, Fred? I've never heard of this boiling hot dog and beer thing. It sounds very German. All these photos of hot dogs are making me hungry, though. Do you want to go buy some hot dogs? And, and not cutting the hot dog unsurprisingly results in a juicier one rather than slashing your spiral cutting it. Well, that's not surprising at all. That's why I said unsurprising. Guys, for some reason, I can't really see the chats anymore. Oh, there we go. Sorry, I haven't been paying attention to the chats because I don't have my laptop and the chats disappeared. Um, but I'm back with nothing, nothing to say. I'm just showing you my cat. One seasoning, listen. I'm not gonna care about what seasonings I put in my food if I can catch some food to begin with. The only thing I'm gonna be worried about on the desert island is how long I have left to live. It's not very late here. What time is it here? Fuck MSG. <laughs> We're gonna bring us some tools. Maybe I'll bring my torch so that we can start a fire without like actually knowing how to start fire. Fire's important. So yeah, let's do a knife and a torch. Dude, what's up with your tail, my mans? Are you moving your tail? Who's moving your tail? That's fucking creepy as shit. Hi, Kentucky. Are you dreaming? What are you dreaming about, Fred? Is it something good? Madrid, I miss Madrid. I had lots of fun visiting there. Hi, Greece. Wow, Fred, you must be having a really nice dream. This is fascinating. I've never seen his tail move like that before. 
when he's sleeping. Mauritius! Oh my gosh. Honestly, Sally, I did not know Mauritius was a country until I bought some clothes that said made in Mauritius. And I was like, where is Mauritius? It's a tiny little island. Where is it, June? It's a tiny little island somewhere. Somewhere? I'm really bad at maps, guys. <laughs> what continent is it nearest? I don't know. <laughs> is it near, like, Africa? Continent? That is the closest. Madagascar-ish? Oh my god, you're f fucking adorable. So cute. Why are you so cute? This is crazy. I think I've been scooping way too much cat poop, guys, because I feel like I've gotten more and more toxoplasmosis in my system, and I just find myself loving Fred more and more every day, and he is truly turning me into his servant, and I feel terribly ashamed about it, but also, eh, this has as good a life meaning as any other, right? Yep, he's trapped me. He's trapped me. You gave me some parasites that are now eating holes into my brain so that I love you more and give you food and give you scratches and pets. Aren't you? <laughs> uh. Yep, I can see myself owning two cats someday. you hate it when I talk into your ear? This ear is very annoyed with me. Um, it's, yeah, I'm turning into a crazy Callie. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. I don't watch Kitten Lady. I already have a cat here. Well guys, I'm gonna go off and eat the rest of my broccoli and cheese and red pepper dip. Thank you so much for watching Fred nap. <laughs> And Aaron's now back to annoy him. <laughs> what you gonna do about Fred? Uh, what if I wiggle my fingers? He's gonna bite. Oh. You keep doing that. Oh. Oh. Wiggle. Oh. Tails, tails waggling. Wiggle. He's thinking about it. Oh, that tail mm. is that tail is going. Mm. Ooh. I'm scared. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Take care.